You know, I think that's probably part of the problem with the hate channels on here. They, they want me to ha they want me to be emotional about how they feel about me. I can really give two shits about how some idiot that never met me feels about me, that they didn't even bother taking the time to learn anything about me before making a decision. To me, I think they're idiots. So I really don't care if it offends people. You know, quite frankly, I want those types of idiots out of my chat completely. Like, I don't want you here. Uh, I'm not a click view and numbers type of girl. You know, I actually do the content. People look at it, they look at it. If they don't, they don't. Guess what? I've been wildly successful. When I'm not sitting in this room right here and we're out in that field, we do amazing stuff and people support the hell out of it, period. Um, and we need to start working. We need to start getting out of there. So as we start, 2024 is going to be different. We were straddled with all this garbage in 2023, intentional garbage. And I see that there's some stuff that's, that's already starting to percolate back up that they think they're going to start moving some, some uh, pieces. So we're going to be in court. Uh, apparently, this is not going to go away until every last one of them is sued. And, and that is exactly what I'm planning on and committing to doing. Um, so I see that they're trying to you know, form this legal fund. Well, that legal fund, they're going to have some problems with. Um, and I'm just throwing that out there because I'm going to be dropping my paperwork here in just another day uh, into the court systems. And so uh, we'll see what the judge has to say. And I'm not, I, I really just am over this crap. I think they're, they're garbage. I think they're, they're, the commentary is garbage. Um, I think they need to do better. And I think they, if they're going to say it's how to, true crime, they need to stick to true crime. Because what they're doing is not true crime. It is not drama. It's not trauma. It is called bullying. It is a straight up bully channel. You got five minutes of commentary on a true crime case. And the rest of the six fucking hours is complaining about some other creator. Maybe you need to look at yourself and review yourself before you're concerned about anyone else. I also found out the indigenous lady, the gluten, her skin is about as white as mine. Lies. All lies. I'm so tired of it. So tired. So, say la Say la but I got my platform, and I can do whatever the hell I want. <laughs> as long as it's lawful, right? So that's what we do. We don't need to be nasty pieces of garbage on the streets of YouTube. Trust me, we got enough channels for that. All right. Guys, no. I have agreed, and, and I there are so many people that have reached out to me asking me what in the world I'm thinking. And I'm going to be on, we're not going to have a live here on the Bullhorn Betty channel on Wednesday at 630. I will be uh, being interviewed by Morbid on his channel on Wednesday at 6 p.m. Now, people have reached out to me and it's like, oh, he doesn't need his chat. He doesn't strike people. He doesn't need, I, I get it. I understand. I understand. It's not, you're, you're not talking to a uh, somebody going into this interview fully blind, okay? Um, it, do I trust Morbid? I don't. I don't know him to trust him. But here's what. I give everybody the opportunity to lose their trust, right? I don't go in there. And I, when, I, when I meet you, this I, I'm a little different. And it, it sets myself up to be hurt quite a bit. But I feel it's necessary. I don't care where you came from, where you go, who you are, whether people like you, dislike you. I, I stay out of it. People come to me all the time saying, did you hear this? Did you hear that about this person? About that? You stay away. I, 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 I take people for face value. So I give you, you have all the love, trust, support. You are on a, a pedestal, put high up into the clouds when you meet me. When you meet me, you have it all. You have my trust. You have my loyalty. You have my respect. You have, my, you have it all. I give that to you freely. You ruin those relationships, right? So you make me not trust you. You make me not believe in you. You make me pull my friendship from you. You make me do these things because of your behavior. I give you everything freely. If you choose to damage that, that's on you. So I hear people, some people don't like Morbid, and that's fine. I don't know if you've heard, there's some people that don't like me either. <laughs> Doesn't mean I'm a bad person, right? So I'm going to go on Morbid's channel. I'm going to give him the same respect and uh, the same courtesy I give every single other person that I meet. I always give them of me freely, and they have to lose me, right? So we're going to go on there. He, I talked to him, you know, he's, he's assured me that this is not some kind of, you know, setup, but even if it is, even if it were, even if everybody in that, that chat was, was with pitchforks and daggers coming after Bullhorn Betty, I'm an adult <laughs> and I know how to just leave. <laughs> You're right. I know how to just boop, have a great day. Right. So we know how to do this because we're adults. So I'm going to go there. I'm giving him the opportunity. I think, I, to be honest with you, I talked to the guy. I mean, you know, we are, we're all out here. We're trying to, to do our, our creative, you know, niche, right? We all have our, our, our creative juice. We all try to do things. I, I think for the most part, you know, people are good people. Whether they get sucked into crap or not, I truly believe that there's a lot more good people, even though they act very poorly to be cool or to be noticed or to have, you know, to buy their friendships with these creators or whatever. Um, I don't know. I digress. Um, but everybody tries to do their own, you know, have their own creativity and do it in a, a way that's entertaining to their audience. And so, you know, I, to be honest with you, We'll give him a shot. We'll give him a shot. Uh, I think I, I like uh, giving shots to people that, because um, I, I, I will be honest with you. When he turned, when he, uh, this is this is what I, I will be honest with you about. When I found out that 
When I found out that he removed his channel and Deets on the Street removed her channel, I reached out to both of them and basically said, I hope you didn't reach, you know, because of the hate, you know, stand strong, keep your head up, blah, blah, blah. You know, even though I know that they both have bashed me in the past, I, I did, you know, I never want anybody to be subjected to bullying and hate and, and, and leave and, you know, have their channel removed despite how they feel about me. You know, I, I just wanted to let them know that it does get better and, you know, I hope they stick around. So it's, it's, you know, I didn't want, um, it's one of those things, you know, and so I, I just wanted to make sure that he wasn't leaving because of the hate on YouTube and he told me, no, I'm just doing some creative stuff. And then, uh, you know, I hadn't heard from him in a while and he reached out to me and said, you know, I'm coming back on, on YouTube. I'd like to maybe interview you. And so I'm like, well, you know, I prayed for it for a really long time. I actually never responded to him. <laughs> I responded to him, but I never answered the question. I never answered the question. And so like a month went by, you know, I had technical issues with my phone and then, um, I, I, and then all of a sudden, one day I look and there's a text message saying, hey, you know, I'd really like to interview you. And, you know, I know you can't talk about this, but I'd like to talk to you about other stuff. You know, do you have any particular stuff? I'm like, no, I kind of go with the flow. I always say that to anybody that I like to see the type of questions they ask. You know, are they are they antagonistic? You know, I, I'm always, you guys know me. I'm always analyzing people. I'm always uh, looking to see what makes people tick. I'm always trying to identify personalities. And it just, it goes on organically in my brain. I don't even realize it does it. I just do it. It, it, it just, it's weird. I, I, I'm weird. I, I don't know what to say, okay? <laughs> This chat is horrible about it. Be careful, please. And you know what? That's, that's another thing. I don't really care what his chat says about me or how they feel about me or, you know, that they hate me and want me to die. I don't care. I don't care. Um, so it's it's not, it's, you know, I, I'm happy to help out. I'm happy to help out. He hasn't done anything to me personally. As a matter of fact, he, he, he serenaded me. Remember? I had, I had to turn down. <laughs> I had to turn down live here on the Full Heart Buddy channel. I'm sorry. Sorry. Sorry, buddy. We, we know. We know. He serenaded me. No, no, no. He just, you know, whatever. I digress. I digress. So what do we say? They ended up being like Bash and liking BHB. <laughs> hey, you never know. You never know. I really got a backward. Like, they, they, the reason why people hate me so much is because they, 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 they think I was a horrible person. I mean, shit, if you look at half those thumbnails and listen to the description of these people that have never met me before or never had a conversation with me and never said boo to me, never even understood what makes me tick, talking crap, like, I would think I was a horrible person too. But now I've been on here for two years and people see the work I do and know that I do work well. They're jealous. They try to stop me. They, 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 they literally try working around the clock. Like there's a few creators that I literally, it's sick. It's like literally mental illness on like that teacher in New York, like a teacher in New York. Um, you know, she's, she's a sick girl. She's got a lot of emotional problems and probably shouldn't be teaching our children, but nobody wants to talk about that. Nobody wants to talk about that. You know, she really does have some major problems in her life. I found that out. Nobody wants to talk about it. I can't even talk about the lady because I truly think she's a mental basket case and she's teaching our children. She's got emotional issues from deep seated trauma. It's not my trauma to tell. She should not be teaching kids. She has she has gone off the deep end. And you guys are sitting there supporting her and don't even realize that you, that, you know, we sit here and talk about how we don't want to exploit mental, uh, people that have mental illness. But yet you guys turn a blind eye to mental illness every single day when you support these creators that are clearly have problems. And this teacher does have problems. She does have problems. So I, I, I can't, what can I do, right? Because everybody wants to, if I go after her, what are they going to say? Oh, she's got mental problems. She shouldn't be teaching fucking kids. She needs to go to therapy and get her shit worked out. She's a danger to her children. Just saying. Oh, no, she's got you mean me, buddy. Okay. Well, when one of those kids get hurt because she decides to have a nervous breakdown, what are you going to do then? You guys don't want to believe it exists, but it does. Has anybody even asked her? If you guys want to help her, get her into counseling. But no, you guys aren't about helping anybody. You're about drama. It's just sick. These people are fucking sick. Sorry. All right, guys. Well, there's my F-bomb for the day. Sounds like we are. We're on a wrap. <laughs> we'll see you guys back here around 1.30 or so. Uh, but.